Hi, and welcome back to this wedding chapel. We're going to continue our reading in Classroom 180. Yesterday we left off with Demonstrate Forever Commitment. So picking back up on page 26. While this type of message will work for some students impacted by trauma, for others who have been severely impacted, it will result in a higher level of stress and in some cases will ignite even more acting out behaviors at first. These students have such deep relational trauma that they do not trust anyone or anything that anyone says. They will not accept such a message at face value. They will have to test these words out through their actions. People who they trusted in the past also made similar promises, only to let them down repeatedly. It will be part of these students' healing process to test the adults in their lives who tell them they are there for them unconditionally. These are the students who will exhibit a higher intensity of negative behaviors when given this promise of forever. It is so important to understand this dynamic and not write a behavioral report that says, quote, student is testing the teacher. Yes, indeed, he is testing the teacher. The solution is to hold the course with these students. If they become disruptive and even unsafe, more on safety in domain four, Every action must be taken to curb the violence and not merely pass these students along to a different school. Many times, just staying the course with these intense billies through their fear of being given up on will eventually help them to change their behaviors and be successful in the classroom. Other times, however, there will be students who cannot be in a particular class and maintain safe behaviors. There will be definitely times when Billy will need to be moved to a more contained classroom. However, the old message of Billy moved to another school because he couldn't behave needs to be replaced with Billy moved to another school because he needed more than what I could give him. He is still a part of this class family and we will welcome him back if the time comes. Healthy families do not give up on their children. So too should class families never give up on their students. In cases when Billy does need to be permanently removed from the class, outreach measures are required to ease the transition for Billy. Simply moving him without any type of closure only reinforces Billy's deep wounds of rejection. The class can create a card or a sign that says they miss him and they love him. The teacher can connect with Billy in his new classroom and let him know she has not abandoned him. When Billy is permanently removed from a classroom, this also raises fears in his classmates who remain. Their stress increases and they wonder, what will happen to me? Am I next? We have always thought that this kind of fear is good for children, that it makes them behave and stay in compliance. This may be true for the Andes of the classroom, but fear does not work to move Billy into compliance. It only heightens Billy's negative reactivity. Taking the time to have closure with a student benefits not only the student being moved, but all the students who remain in the class. When the other students know that Billy is getting the help he needs and was not just being rejected based off his behavior, it sends a powerful message that they too are safe unconditionally. So join me next time for the reading of Classroom 180.